Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Let's get started. But first, a thank you to my Patreon supporters. I love the interaction and feedback. This is my payment table. I have vendor ID. I've got the payment type. And you can see Seattle, Portland, Tacoma. Those are cities. And then I've also got um, other fees, miscellaneous fees that I wanna, I'm going to lump together. These are the value, these are the years 2018 through 2022. And I've summed them up at the bottom here. And I want to understand what is my average annual five year value. So I want to get to this 1245. I want Tableau to recognize 1245. So I've already brought the table over. And I've also un what I call unpivoted the data. So taking that 2018 through 2022 and converting it to a to two separate columns like you see here. You have the year and the dollar. And I'm going to put a little tag up in the upper right hand corner that will take you to the video that explains more about that unpivoting option. Is I've just grabbed the dollars and I've dropped them on the text card. We know that's not the right number. So I want to change this because it says sum. I want to come down to measure. I'm going to convert that to average. And now this gives me uh, $77.83. Well, that's clearly not right. If we go back to the data, that's clearly not right. So where is that 77 coming from? Well, Tableau is going through and looking at all of the transactions for all the years and says, on average, your transaction, your payment value is $77. Well, that's not what I'm looking for. I want it by year. So let's go back to Tableau. And I'm going to create a calculated field. I'm calling it average dollars. And I'm using the fixed function, right? What this is saying is for only recognize the year, sum up all the dollars for this particular year and return that. And I'm going to bring the average dollars over to text. That's a big number. Let me bring the year over. Actually bring it over here. So you can see that these are the dollar values for that year. And actually if you brought over dollars, you'd see that it would match, right? So now what I want to do is I want to come in here and I'm going to pick, actually I'm going to get rid of the year. And I'm going to get rid of these other dollars. And now I'm going to select average because you know what those values are. Now instead of adding them up together, I want to get the average of those. And so there's that 1245 that we were looking for. I want to break, understand this 1245, how much of it is attributed to the Seattle and Tacoma and how much of it is attributed to the different payment groups. So we're going to create a new sheet. I created a field called payment type group. And basically, I lumped the different cities together, and then I also lumped everything else into this other group. I'm going to bring the payment group over. So let me show you what this is doing. Well, let me pull over the average dollars first. Pull in the average dollars. This isn't what we want, right? We know that that's not right. What's happening? Well, Tableau is looking at this value, and it's only processing it based on the year and summing up the dollars for the year. And then it assigns that same value to all the other data points, regardless of what other dimension you have above. So to get to the right data dimension or level of detail, I had created another calculated field called payment type group. And in this case, we're gonna look for the year, and then we're gonna look for the payment type group then we're going to sum up all the dollars. So let's bring that over. And remember, those numbers are not right because we need to change this to average. And now we want to add those all together so it's easy to understand, see that they can that they match. With only four numbers, it's probably easy to do. But we're going to add grand totals. And now we've got 311. Something's not right because we know that it should be 1245. 
what's happening. Well, when you count, when you've added the total to a column, you have another feature down here, another option called total using. And when it's, the default is automatic because you usually want it to sum whatever you've got in there or follow the same uh, aggregation that you have above. In this case, it's average, right? We actually want it to sum the averages. So we're gonna select sum. And now we've got this 1245. The client wanted to see the breakout of this other. In some cases, the, the other was a large number and they wanted to understand it better. Let's create another calculated, I mean, another worksheet. We're gonna bring over payment type. This is the level of detail they wanted to see. If you bring over payment group, which we did before, change it to average. You can see what's happening. The, the top three match because there was only one item in that category. But this group down here is returning the same value for that other payment category. So what we need to do, is once again, come here. We're gonna update our fixed function so that we're showing a lower level of detail, this payment type. We click OK, bring that over, change it to average again. And then we're also gonna want the total, because now we're getting a couple more numbers. It's gonna be a little bit harder to do the math in our head, at least for me. Come down to total using, and we want this to be sum. And now we've got that 1245 again. So let me show you what that looks like. You're looking for the 1245 in each case, adding those all together. And where the client really wanted this is to add, and we added this as an embedded visualization. Let me just move that down. And now when you hover, you can get, you can understand what that $44 is. And of course, when you look here, it doesn't have, it's only one type. I'm gonna show you a little something here. You would think that if you brought over the lower level of detail that it would sum up and the numbers would still work out. Usually that's what happens with Tableau. So let's bring over the data type and just drop it on the card here. We're gonna change this measure type to average, then we're gonna change this to total or to sum, and the numbers don't add up. What's happening here? Well, what's happening is if you remember, we're telling Tableau to sum up the dollars at the payment type level and then average them. So here's what's happening in Excel. We're gonna come here, we're gonna just hide all those other, just to make it easier to, to see what's happening. I'm gonna hide that. And I've gone ahead and added um, some calculated fields. It's basically adding up all the late fee values, all the rebate values, and all the miscellaneous values. And then taking the average. So you can see that this is the 49, that's an average. If you come back to Tableau and we add year, that's what's happening is having the 50, nine, the 50, negative four, negative nine. So it's taking the, summing it up at the lower level and then taking the average of that. And so what we really wanted to do is we want to take the sum of all those categories, not the average. So this is where it gets really complicated when you're dealing with averages, when you're dealing with fixed, it's important to understand your data and the level of detail you're working with. I hope you'll check out these other cool videos that I've selected for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below.